One of the features available to Google Scholar is called My Library. And you can find My Library at the top of the Google Scholar page with the name My Library. What My Library does is it provides you with a list of articles that you have saved for future reference. These articles are articles that can be culled from articles that you've already written and um, that you've cited these different references or it's articles that you are currently saving and that you wish to add. So going back to uh, Google Scholar, if I do a search for informal learning, for example, that I may find this, this particular article, informal and incidental learning in the workplace. And so what I can do is I can save that particular article. And when I save it, what it does is it places it into my library. And if I click on my library, there in fact is that particular article. And with that article, I can then go ahead and use it into a paper. And what I could do is click on more and cite, and I can copy that particular reference and then use it into um, whatever paper that I wanna use. Okay, so, and remember my bibliography manager on subsequent search pages. Um, for example, I would use uh, BibTeX in order to bring that uh, into my, that my, my paper. So, so now I have that option import into BibTeX or I can grab it and cite it separately. So that's a start on my library. As I mentioned, I can also have articles that I have already written and I'm tracking the citations. And right now, I have no articles listed. So what I can do is go back to my citations and there is a link there. And as you can see, there is no citations. I am gonna look for an article written by Dr. Shepard and I and it happens to be called Rethinking Electronic Portfolios to Promote Sustainability Among Teachers. And I'm gonna add this particular article. And if I, once again, click on my citations, that will be listed and showing how many times that it has been cited um, over time. So now what I wanna do is bring all the references that I cited uh, into my library. So um, I return back to Google Scholar, select my library. And so now this new article is listed as part of my uh, library because that is my, one of my citations, okay? So articles that are cited by me, if I select that, it will allow me to import um, all the articles that were in that article, that I had written and import this now into my library. So I select that and in my library, there are now 34 references that have been added um, that are part of my article. So for example, on learning technologies, it was cited by four people. And if I select that, it will show that here is that article that Dr. Shepard and I wrote. And so that, that is now listed there. Okay, so it allows you to kind of collect those um, libraries. To, your library can become very large. So in this case, there's 36 references and maybe I wanna add some more organization. So what I can do is I can label those. And right now I have two labels, ePortfolio and Lifelong Learning. This deals with uh, ePortfolios. So I will add that particular reference to that article. Here is an article embedding ePortfolios into lifelong learning. If I wish, I can add it to ePortfolio, right? It'll add um, that particular link or, and lifelong learning. And if I was interested in higher education, for example, I can create a new label called higher education. And so I'll go ahead and create that. So now I have those three there. And when I go back 
I have an option to select for example higher education it will show me that one article but if I chose ePortfolio I had marked two articles um, with that particular label. I can you know remove those labels if I wished um, but another thing that I can do is I can if I don't want a particular article in my library any longer I can click on that article and just select delete and it will give me an option to redo it but I can also undo that uh, immediately you have to do it immediately looking at articles I can select any time you know so any articles that are since 2014 I didn't have any how about 2013 nothing um, 2010 uh, there's four results so articles you know four of these articles were 2010 or um, you know later so so that is uh, the basics of my library well one other thing I can also export these to different references um, you know Bibtex or EndNote uh, hopefully they'll add Zotero sometime but Bibtex will work um, I also have the ability to edit this I can decide you know if this is a journal article or a book and uh, update you know any new information I happen to know about that so that is um, what we need to know about my library